Hi, this is KidsPlaySoccer.com Basic Soccer Rules video. The rules of soccer are comprised of 17 laws according to FIFA, the International Federation of Soccer. At the competitive level is where it may seem more complicated, but in general, soccer is the simplest sport in the world. Get the ball inside the opposing team's goal without using your hands. A hand in soccer is defined as any part of your arm to your fingernails. We will go through all 17 laws of the game, so keep up and for more information and resources, visit our website. Law 1. The field. The field is rectangular and consists of sidelines, endlines, corners, midline, the center circle, the goal area, penalty area, center spot, and of course the goals. The size of the field can be modified for smaller teams. Law 2. The ball. The ball comes in three general sizes, size 3, 4, and 5. 5 is the official size, while 4 and 3 are smaller sizes to accommodate younger players. There is no official rule of size ball for kids. Leagues make the decision as to what size to play with. Law 3. Players. Official rules are 11 v 11, 10 field players and 1 goalie. Again, modify the field to fit the number of players you have per team. There are no official rules for size of teams for youth. Leagues make this decision and it varies across the globe. Law 4. Equipment. Typical soccer equipment consists of shorts, jersey, shin guards, long socks that go over the shin guards, and soccer cleats. Baseball and football cleats are very different. Laws 5 and 6. Referees and linesmen. In an official game, the referee makes the calls and controls time of the game. Linesmen or lineswomen decide who last kicked the ball out of the sidelines or inlines and calls off sides. Law 7. Time of game. Official 11 v 11 soccer is two halves of 45 minutes with a 15 minute half time. Kids time duration varies according to league. Typically it consists of two halves of equal time with one half time break. In official games the referee controls time and may add extra time for injuries, subs or anything else that cause the game to pause. Law 8. Start of play or kickoff. To start the game, the ball is placed at the center spot and a team passes the ball forward to begin play. The opposing team is not allowed to enter the center circle until the ball is in play. After a goal is scored, it starts the same way every time. Law 9. In and out of play. The ball is out of play when the ball has completely left the field. If the ball is touching the touch line in the air or on the ground, it is still considered in play. The referee and goal posts are fixtures of the field, and play resumes if it hits any part of the fixtures. Law 10. A goal is when the ball completely enters the goal. It doesn't matter who kicked it in, if it is within the rules of play and goes in, it's a goal. Law 11. Offsides. This is the most complicated law of the game. It has to do with the last defender and when the ball was passed to the attacking player. If the receiving player was beyond the last defender line at the touch of the pass from their teammate, it is offsides. This only applies to the opposing team's half. You can never be offsides on your half of the field. There are no offsides on goal kicks, corner kicks, and throws. Offsides is not recommended for youth under 12 years old. Law 12. Fouls. A foul is when a player breaks a rule like using hands or pushing, tripping, pulling, etc. If the referee deems it dangerous, he may call it a foul. There are minor and major fouls. The referee decides and may give a yellow card or red card if he or she believes it merits a warning or ejection of the game. Law 13. Free Kicks. A free kick is awarded to the other team for a foul or handball. It can be a direct kick or indirect kick. Direct means you can shoot directly to the goal and it does not need to touch a player on your team. Indirect means it has to touch a second player before it enters the goal. Law 14. Penalty Kicks. When a foul is called in the penalty area, the team is awarded a penalty kick from the penalty spot. Only the goalie can try and block the goal and if it is blocked or rebounds off the goal post, it is in play and game resumes. Law 15. Throw-in. When the ball leaves the field over the sideline, a throw-in is awarded to the team that did not touch the ball last. Both feet need to touch the ground and the throw needs to be executed with both hands on the ball. Law 16. Goal kicks. If the ball goes over the end line and was last touched by the attacking team, the defending team is awarded a goal kick to put the ball back into play. Anyone on the team can execute the goal kick. 
Law 17, corner kicks. If the ball goes over the end line and was last touched by the defending team, a corner kick is awarded to the attacking team. A player places the ball on or inside the marked corner area and kicks it into play. Now a goal can be scored directly from a corner kick. As long as it's a shot or a pass, it is good. These are the fundamental rules of the game. Remember, they can be modified for age and ability. Don't overcomplicate the game with rules if you're focusing on development. Tactics has its place, but not during the development phase of learning soccer. For more on coaching kids soccer, visit our website www.kids-play-soccer.com.